doing? My name is Brittany and let's talk about books. So today I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated releases of 2016. There are so many great books coming out next year and I'm going to be talking about eight of my most anticipated releases. So I need to make this quick because my battery is running low. So the first one that I'm going to be talking about is Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. This is a novella compilation about the Lunar Chronicles. I don't really know what's included inside. I know that there's a prequel and maybe like an epilogue or something. I know there's something called The Wedding, I believe, inside, which I am praying to God that it's either Kai and Cinder or Cress and Thorn. It has to be one of them because I ship them so hard. I need one. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards Kai and Cinder a little bit. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I honestly don't know. It could be a wedding about Aiko and somebody else and I would be happy to be completely honest. I do not care. I just need the wedding to be somebody. Mm, yes. I'm so excited for that. And that comes out February 2nd of 2016. You guys have no idea how excited for that I am. The next one is The Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard which is the sequel to Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I just read this book last month and I really, really enjoyed it. So I cannot wait for the sequel, especially after the way that this book ended. I need to know what happens next and I need more Mare. <laughs> just totally forgot the protagonist's name. I don't know what's going on in my head right now. Um, and that comes out February 9th of 2016. So really excited for that one. And the next one is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare, the first book in the Dark Artifices series. I am so excited for a new Cassie Clare book. You guys have no idea. I finished The Mortal Instruments and The Infernal Devices this year and I'm so excited for more of these characters that are in this new series appeared in City of Heavenly Fire and I'm so excited to see more from them and I just need more cast to clear my life let's be real here I, I need it I, I need it really badly and that comes out March 8th the fourth book is Yellow Brick War by Danielle Page which is the third book in the Dorothy Must Die series. Now, I wasn't a huge fan of The Wicked Will Rise, which is the second book in this series, but regardless, I did love the first book, and I still am interested in knowing in what's happening in the world and what's going to happen with the characters and how it's all going to wrap up, because I do believe this is a trilogy, I think. So I need to know how it all ends, and hopefully it's a lot better than the second book was because I was not a huge fan of the second book unfortunately but yeah that one comes out on March 15th then the fifth book is A Light by Scott Sigler and that is the sequel to Alive by Scott Sigler and it's the second book in the Generations trilogy I got this book for my birthday I will link my birthday book haul down below so you guys can go check that out my friend gave this to me which was so kind of her and um, I loved it it was really really good um, I love the concept of it and it was just really really interesting and I'm definitely interested in knowing what happens next so I'm really excited for the sequel and that comes out on April 5th Then the sixth one I'm really, really excited for, and it's The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. I love Morgan Matson, and I've been waiting for another book by her since I read Since You've Been Gone, which was the first book I ever read by her, and I'm so excited for her to be coming out with another one, and this comes out on May 3rd. Honestly, I have no idea what it's about, but I don't even care. She is definitely becoming an auto-buy author for me. If you guys want me to do a video on auto-buy authors, I would definitely do that, because I have quite a few that I have. So, if you guys want me to do that, let me know down below, and I will do that. So excited. And the seventh one, which also comes out on May 3rd, is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. That is the sequel to A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. I loved this book. This is definitely another one of my favorites of the year. It was so good. It's a Beauty and the Beast retelling, and Beauty and the Beast is one of my favorite fairy tales. So I was really, really excited when I heard about this, and I bought it. I did an unboxing for this, which was really exciting, so I'll link a link. I'll link a link 
I'll leave a link down below to that unboxing. It was my very first unboxing I ever did on this channel, so that is pretty exciting. Um, and the sequel comes out on May 3rd, I already mentioned that. Um, but I'm really, really excited and I need to know how the series continues. Okay, so my camera died on me and it's actually hours later now, so I took my lipstick off. The angle's different, the lighting probably sucks majorly, and I'm sorry, but I just need to finish up this video really quickly for you guys, so yeah. I literally had one more book to talk about and then just decided to cut out, so thanks for your timing, camera. Um, but the last most anticipated release of 2016 that I'm going to be talking about today is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This comes out November 8th. I'm literally so excited for this one, you don't even know. Um, all I know about it is that it's like an Alice in Wonderland-esque retelling prequel thing about the Queen of Hearts having to marry the King of Hearts and not wanting to. Something along the lines of that. I'm not too sure, but it sounds really, really cool. It doesn't yet have a cover, but I'm really excited to find out what that cover looks like. And I'm just really excited. Next year, it's gonna be a great year for book releases, and there's so many that I didn't even mention. That I think that is everything that I have to say. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.